This is going to be a video to show you what strategy I use along with the people I play with use for killing skull loss week to week. So first week was solar burn, second week was arc burn, third week which is this week is void burn. And for each of those weeks we'd use our best sniper rifle for that burn and we use headshots on skull loss which you'll see in a second and then we finish him off with rockets once he gets close. You need a titan, you just really do for weapons of light and you need to designate one person to cap the objective which you'll see in a second which occurs once he hits half health. So we're going to run out to the left and we're designating two people i.e. not the titan to kill the servitor. You need to kill this servitor so the bonds are broken so you can actually deal max damage on skull loss. So we're sprinting out to the left, the titan is going to pop their bubble against the door that is right next to the servitor because some enemies will spawn behind there once you get past half health on skull loss. So take out the servitor, designate the two people to do it. You'll see we're sprinting over here as fast as we can. Make sure you got max sniper ammo, max heavy ammo, and you can pop a pack. That door right there, that's where the Titan's going to pop their bubble. So take out the servitor. Be as quick as you can because you don't want Skulls to teleport. And now you need to get headshots on him to stun him. See how he's stunned and he's falling back? That will stop him from teleporting closer, which will make it harder to snipe. We make sure to stagger our shots so we're not all reloading at the same time. You need to keep consistent fire on Skolos so you do enough damage in the 20 seconds that he gives you after killing that servitor. If you do enough damage, the servitor bonds, once they're broken, you'll continuously be able to do critical hits like this. Once you get past half health, you see right there, critical objective popped up in my left hand corner. You have to dismantle mines and enemies will start to spawn at this point as well. So the one person you had designated for mines needs to be aware of when they start to pop up. Skolos is really close now, so we switch to our rocket launchers to finish him off. You see him glowing green right now, Skolos gave me super aids. That comes along with the mines as well. You get 30 seconds until it kills you. So you need to pass it along to a teammate if you can't kill Skolos in time. Now, the essence disappears once you kill Skull Loss. But see, teammate's going to come over here and take the super herpes from me. And I'm going to go cap the other mines. My teammates just finished off Skull Loss. You saw the ads fall down. And now the super gonorrhea is gone. Once you kill Skull Loss, everything's over. Now all you got to do is finish capping the mines. We cut it a little close on this middle one. And there are two waves of mines. So after you do the first wave, just go back to the spawn points for the second wave. Quick recap, you need somebody that's going to do the mines and you need a Titan to pop weapons of light bubble where we popped it back by that door. You're going to run out to the left and you're going to take out the servitor. You will have 20 seconds to light Skolos' punk ass up until the servitor bonds are broken. You need to use your sniper rifles to get critical hits, shoot slow, and shoot accurate. Once you do enough damage in that 20 seconds, you continuously will be able to do critical damage. You will know if you didn't do enough damage because like 25s and stuff will start popping up. Once he hits half health, the objectives will start to pop up. So just communicate with each other and along with that is the devouring essence. So just communicate if you need to pass along to your teammate, you can do that. Skull loss will get closer and closer and once he gets close enough and he's out of sniper range, use your rockets to finish him off and cap away, have fun, celebrate. And make sure you got a treasure key, because if you don't got one, you're not going to get the ship or the shader. You got to open up Scrooge McDuck's treasure chest to get that stuff. I hope this video was helpful and this guide was helpful. If you need any clarification at all, comment below, guys. I will answer. Good luck. I hope you guys kill Skull Loss and get something good as a reward. See ya.